So every once in a while, you'll learn about a thing that exists where you wish you didn't know that said thing exists because you were happier knowing that it wasn't a thing. This is one of those instances where I really wish I could unlearn the information that I uh, recently became privy to. And since I can't, I'm going to make sure that you suffer <laughs> as well. So you're welcome. So apparently Trump Burger is a thing, a restaurant dedicated to the former president, Trump Burger. Now, I knew about this because it became viral in a TikTok video. Now, I'm going to play the video. I can't play the original clip because it has copyrighted music. So we're going to play the video and I'll kind of walk you through what we're seeing in case you're listening via audio on iTunes or, or uh, Spotify or whatever. So here it is. Basically, as you can see, it looks like a church, albeit for Donald Trump, his uh, big, beautiful face on it. Uh, and now they are inside. Very happy to be there, as you can see. So excited. Uh, nobody's wearing masks, so that's a little bit worrying. There's an area where you can buy Trump shirts. There is a cardboard cutout where I'm assuming a lot of people take photographs with the former president. And the burger even has Donald Trump's name on it. Nice little touch there. Now, I can assure you this is real. In fact, so many people didn't believe that this was real that Snopes dedicated an article to stating... Yes, it is a matter of fact that Trump Burger is a real thing that exists. Definitely not a cult, I swear. <laughs> now, I, uh, for whatever reason, decided to look up the menu, and I was a little bit disappointed because as much as they branded everything with Donald Trump, there were so many missed opportunities with the menu. I mean, you do have the Trump Burger and the Trump Tower Burger and the First Lady Chicken Sandwich. But they could have gotten a lot more creative. They could have offered, like, I don't know, a fake news fish sandwich or the you're fired filet or a sloppy Steve, sloppy Joe. I don't know. There's so many more opportunities here. Why wouldn't you do something like Melania's mayonnaise or something? <laughs> Maybe not Melania's mayonnaise. <laughs> that sounds really disgusting. I don't know. Trump's tendies or... <laughs> Trump's chicken, chicken tenders or something. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm making this video. Trump's chicken tendies, um, Melania's mayonnaise. <laughs> I feel like that could that could work, but you just have like the Trump burger or the Trump Tower burger. I don't know. They could have done better. I'm going to grade them a C minus. Uh, there was an attempt, but if you don't have Melania's mayonnaise, <laughs> then I'm not interested, okay? Two hours later. So I did look up some of the reviews on Yelp, and you can tell why they did this, because it's very clearly lucrative. The pro-Trump grift, it is going to yield you a lot of support that you wouldn't otherwise have. So this blew up on TikTok, and as a result, business exploded. You had people driving hours to go and eat at the Trump Burger restaurant. Uh, this reviewer says, saw Trump Burger on TikTok video, so decided to drive two hours to check this place out. I was not disappointed. When you first walk in, you're uh, greeted by a cutout of President Trump, and all around they have merchandise you can purchase for a reasonable, reasonable price, okay? Uh, drove over an hour to check this place out, another one here, and it didn't disappoint. Ordered the Trump burger and onion rings, and everything was delicious. Burger was juicy, and the bun had a slight crisp to it. Sounds delicious, actually. Each burger has a Trump stamped on the bun. Very cute. Uh, and they put very cute in uh, parentheses with an exclamation. So, you know, they were very impressed by that. Bonus, workers are so helpful and nice. They were very welcoming and can tell they care about their customers. I'm sorry, I'm still not over Melania's mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm actually crying. I don't know. Three days later. Okay. 
I'm going to try to get to some of the not-so-pleasant comments here. I think I've calmed myself and I'm over Melania's mayonnaise. <laughs> if you enjoy dining at a cult gathering, then this is the place for you. Unseasoned burgers and fries. Overall disgusting experience. Just spotted the lib. The decor is very outdated. Oh, please. Felt like I had taken a step back into 2020. The life-size Trump poster is very disturbing and made my 12-year-old daughter very uncomfortable. I would avoid this place at all costs. I was very excited to come to this restaurant after hearing the hype from TikTok and was very disappointed. I got the Trump burger with some fries and the bun of my burger, as well as the fries, were very soggy. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hate when that happens. Not to mention, my burger wasn't even cooked all the way, and I ordered medium well. Wow. Uh, everything tasted plain, like something you can make at home. Do not make the visit not worth it. So this seemed like someone who actually was excited, but um, they just they weren't happy with their experience. That's really unfortunate. Great burgers, but the worst fries I have ever had. Come on. How do you screw up fries? Mine were soggy and limp. Would I order from them again? Maybe. That's pretty relatable. Uh, now, the question that we all have to ask ourselves is, would we eat here? And I made the mistake of film, filming this when I'm extremely hungry. And I'm not going to lie, looking at that menu, no cap, I bet that shit is busting. <laughs> <That looks, laughs> it looks good. And it's like I had this instinct to not want to give my money to the restaurant owners who are probably obviously racist if they support Donald Trump that much. But at the same time, you know, when you spend your money in a capitalist society, you're not putting your dollars towards an ethical company 99 times out of 100, right? There's no ethical consumption under capitalism. But the burgers look good. I, I wouldn't eat there. And whether or not this is weird, I always apply a test to myself because, uh, you know, I, I'm a huge Bernie Sanders supporter. So would I eat at a restaurant called Bernie's Burgers? And the answer is no. I think that would be weird. I mean, I'm sure that the restaurant owners are nice, but it would come off to me as overly grifty and them just trying to cash in on a trend and I would feel dirty about supporting that. So because I think it would be weird if I did this as a Bernie supporter, then I think that I could logically deduce that Trump supporters who eat here are weird. And the whole notion of a Trump restaurant is super strange to me. It's just, it's too overly culty. And I think that it's perfectly reasonable for people to want to express their political support for someone but in this way it's a little bit weird now if they introduce melania's mayonnaise then it seems a little bit more reasonable but there's not enough representation for the first lady so bring in melania's mayonnaise or melania's mustard and that could work um if this gets uploaded then i made a terrible decision Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?